Hi everybody, this is Coach Allison back with your week 32 Defy Aging Workout. This week we have one circuit of six exercises and we're gonna go through those stations for, uh, not six, four rounds. Uh, for um, the first two rounds, it's gonna be timed 35 seconds on, 25 seconds off, so a little more work to rest ratio. And then for rounds three and four, it's gonna be a more uh, traditional 30 on, 30 off breakdown. Uh, okay, let's review our six exercises. Station one is high plank toe taps. High plank refers to being on the hands as opposed to being on the elbows in a plank position. So that'll look like this. In your near plank, you wanna make sure that the elbows, uh, excuse me, that shoulders are directly on top of the wrists or the hands. By that, uh, as you can see, that's perfectly stacked on top. What I mean by that is we don't want to be sunken back like this. And now if you see my shoulders are not directly stacked on top of my hands. Uh, hips are level, parallel to the floor, not way up here like this. You can choose to start with a toe tap and then work your way up to the full jacks or the full jumps. So the toe taps would look like this. Keep your neck neutral so you're looking down at the floor. You would tap one foot out at a time. Again, keeping your hips level though. We don't want the hips up like this. And if that's the position your body feels like it needs to be in in order to do these, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you an option to do instead, which is an incline. I'll show you that in just a moment. But so we can start with toe taps. When you feel ready to progress to the full jacks, they'll look like this. Again though, we don't want the hips up like that. So the other option I will show you is an incline. Now there's not a knee version of this. Traditionally for a, stand, a standard isometric plank, you can put the knees down, but that's not really an option for this. So if doing a full toe plank is not an option for you, we're gonna have you come up to an incline. So coming up to a bench um, or boxes, whatever your club has as an option. Still want all the same things though. Shoulders stacked on top of hands, hips not up like this. So you have to step your feet back and then sink those hips down. You can do toe taps or you can do the jacks. So two different level op level options as far as floor or incline, and then two different options as far as uh, the taps or the jumps. Station two is a stability ball squat. All right. So for, oh, let's see, I think I'm a little not, there we go. Um, ball against the wall. And we lean against the ball, starting the ball at about um, our butt or maybe like the tailbone. It's very important you don't start the ball too high up. And that's because we're gonna roll down and we want the low back supported. And as you can see here, my low back is not supported. So you need to start it kind of low. Um, so it has that space to roll up the spine. Start with your feet out pretty far. <clears throat> Pardon me. If you start the feet too, too much underneath you, your knees are gonna go too far forward. So all those things for the starting. I'm starting the ball about on my butt and I'm starting my feet nice and far out in front of me. Now we're gonna do a squat. I'm also starting my feet like hip width apart. As you can see, there's a good distance between my, my feet. I'm not putting them right next to each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, keep your spine against the ball as you bend your knees and come down. Meaning by that, I mean I'm not leaning my body forwards. I'm not peeling my spine off the ball. Coming down, start small, start as low as you'd like to get started. As you get more comfortable, you can go deeper. Make sure your knees are not going too far over the feet like this. So again, those feet have to be forward. And that's your spine just rolls comfortably along the ball as you go into your squat and come back up. Push your feet into the floor, kind of driving through your heels. Okay, again, never kind of leaning forward like this. Alrighty, that's our stability ball squat. Overhead, march in place. So you have some lighter weights. I mean, light is different to everybody, right? But lighter weights, because your arms might get kind of tired for this, because we're gonna have these weighted, uh, these, these weights overhead for this entire period of time. Okay, that's why you want kind of lighter weights. So you're gonna keep your palms turned inward. Sorry, I'm getting some little pop-ups here. 
palms turned in, press them overhead, do your best. Now, I know not everyone's elbows and shoulders allow to go perfectly straight. Squeeze those shoulders and elbows as straight as you can, like you're trying to like hug your head um, almost, like you're trying to get those biceps right next to your ears, okay? And keep them there. I want this station to be in front of a mirror so you can keep an eye on that because what, types, what tends to happen is as you're doing this, they start to kind of drift sort of loosey-goosey and start to kind of drift down. For this entire set, I want those arms locked in like you have a rod like uh, taped to your arm, okay? So that's the first part. Then we're going to do a controlled march while those weights are up overhead. I want you to get the knees as high as you can. Doesn't have to be fast. We're going for control. A lot of balance here because these weights are kind of wanting to go all over the place, right? Now, my, arm, my shoulders are getting tired, so they're kind of wanting to come down like this. I'm in front of the mirror, so I'm like, uh oh, that's right. She said to keep those arms up and squeeze them tight. So from the side, I'm getting those knees up as high as I can, so we're not just doing this. I'm really using my ab muscles to keep, keep um, get those thighs up high. Okay. You can also do this with no weights. Palms turned in, like you're trying to kind of, again, hug your head, and that's okay too. Just doing that demo, I don't know how long that was. My shoulders are fatigued and tired. So that's the goal here. Um, yes, so remember not to go fast. Try to get those knees up as high as you can. Keep those arms tight and straight. All righty, this station, half kneel band row. Okay. Um, yeah. So that half kneel position. So both knees are bent to 90 degrees. Okay. One knee is down, one knee is up. The side with the knee that's down, that's the side you're going to hold the band with. Okay. Step, start back far enough. So the band has a little tension in the starting position. So a little tension with the arm straight. We pull back, shoulder down. So don't shrug it up. Try not to do too much twisting and turning. So you want to actually keep your body very still. The only thing moving is the arm. Squeeze the shoulder blade in at the back like you're trying to tuck your elbow into your spine. See how back here I kind of pulled my elbow in and release. My, my wrist is staying neutral, so palm is facing inward towards my belly button. And we're staying up tall, so we're not leaning or anything like that. We're not going to change sides halfway through. We're gonna, when we come around for the next full round, then you'll do the other side, okay? And then round three, you'll go back to the first side. Round four, you'll go to the second side. So then we don't have to worry about switching sides halfway through. Um, but I do want to make sure that there's an option if you can't be on the knees. So if you're not on the knees, it's okay. We'll just get something higher and do a standing staggered stance like that. Okay. So that's totally fine. Same thing. Um, you'll just be off the knees. So if it hurts your knees or something like that, that totally doesn't matter. Um, you can stand up and do the same thing. All right. The tank pull got our TRX hooked up to our tank. Okay. Think of a deadlift position. We want the arms straight out, however, not straight down. Of course, we want to hinge at the hip, getting the hips and butt back. And we keep that body position and pull. Okay, don't worry about speed necessarily. Um, if there are multiple people sharing, so two people at one station, I think each person can take one handle. So I would have like both of my hands on one handle. Your coach can load up a little extra weight. When you get to the end of your space, if the time's still running, you have to unhook the TRX, run it over to the other side, and you can run back. Um, oh, you didn't see that. That was out of frame. Maybe you did. Yeah. You can unhook it, hook it up on the other side and go the other direction if there's time to go back. All right. This station is a hip bridge with mini band, uh, abductions. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So you'll want your mini band hooked around just above the knee. Okay. Just above the knee. So we're lying flat. <clears throat> We're going to lift, put the feet close together. We're going to lift into our hip bridge. They're going to hold this lift for the whole set. And we're going to 
you kind of clamshells. These are ab uh, abductions. You want a firm, res firm level band here because this he wants this to be really challenging. So you're going to keep this lifted bridge the whole time and do these basically these clamshells, these abductions, the whole set to make sure your hips aren't starting to sink down. Check it every once in a while, make sure those hips are up. We did that same movement, similar without the band, of course, for our mobility week. Um, if you are unable to get to the floor, sorry, I wasn't ready. We're gonna have you do um, banded side steps. It really works the same kind of area, the piriformis glute hip. So put a band with handles under your feet and do band side steps. It really is the exact same area that you're targeting. So that's going to be the alternative for anyone staying off of the floor. For our team builder this week, I'm gonna have each coach decide what they would like to do. So it's going to be sort of a trainer's choice for the team builder. Um, okay, so we will see what our trainers come up with. It'll be a surprise for all. And everyone might get some creative things coming their way. All right, that'll do it for week 32, Defy Aging. We'll see you back next week, week 33. I hope you enjoy some of these new exercises. And yeah, see you next week.